Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. Episode 40, we made it to the big 4-0, which is a pretty impressive number if you ask me. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, it's uh, a little congested this morning, but uh, I'm sure I'm fine. <laughs> Today's episode, we are going to be building that tree farm that I've talked about. And you can probably see the uh, haste logo up here. I've got a beacon right above us. And on stream, I dug out. Whoops, that's interesting. Dug out a room for the tree farm. Oh, I missed a few blocks apparently. We can grab those real quick. I, I dug out a nice little room here for us. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's good. We don't have to do all that boring digging, which it didn't take too long when you consider. Uh, how quickly I can dig through blocks but now that we've got us a room that is what we're gonna be doing for today and man is it a big room <laughs> but yeah that's that's what we're gonna do today but before we jump into that I would like to talk about what else happened on stream and as you know last episode I showed you that our house got hit by a tornado and we had yet another devastating tornado on stream unfortunately another Another important building in this world got wiped out, and I will show you a clip of it right now. Uh, oh, it's a tornado. It's right on top of me. But uh, luckily it's going to go that way before it starts damaging stuff. Could hit the old, uh, old village. My favorite build in season seven? I don't know. Probably the windmill, maybe. I like the barn. I like, I like the yeah, the barn or the windmill. Oh wait, that could actually could hit the village. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't kill all my villagers. Hey, you get back here, you tornado! Don't, don't hit the village. Oh, it's picking up blocks. Oh, it's near the village. <laughs> this is not great. It's coming towards you. <laughs> it's coming towards the village. Everyone get inside now. No, no, no. <laughs> go inside. Yeah, there you go. It's all going to be okay. Everyone just bunker down here. Oh, it's an F2. Bruh. It's going to hit the village. <laughs> it's going to hit the village. Oh no. Yep. It's gonna hit it. That's oh, a nice lightning. Oh, looks like we're gonna ride this thing out here. Holy shit, that's an F2? Yeah. Might as well collect this radar block so I'll have it. Because this place is about to get wrecked. Let's get inside. No, stay inside, brother. Uh. You gotta stay safe. Good luck. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh no. You didn't get inside. I'm inside. It's destroying it, the outside right now. <laughs> Rip village. No. There it goes. It's picking up all the blocks. Oh, the house is being ripped to shreds. Oh, there goes the roof, bro. There goes the roof, not the villager. No! <laughs> no, there he goes. Oh, no. Your villager got killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it killed a bunch of them, I think. Holy shit, that oh, guy went no. by dude. Wait, where'd the village go? No! What is this? An F4? <laughs> it is Holy destroying shit. the village right now. Let's fly away real quick. Oh no. Oh. That's a big oof, brother. Oh man, it's just wiping everything out. No, another villager got picked up. <laughs> Is it still strengthening? No, it's weakening now. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, there went another villager. 
Well, that is unfortunate, brother. Hate to see it. Yeah, of all the things you hate to see, this is one of them. It's still picking it up. I don't. I don't think anyone lived. That's a defined wedge right there. That's a fucking massive guy. Man, I put a lot of work in that village. I'm watching. If he says any more shit, I'm gonna take care of it. Well, don't announce it now, Mike. Wait, what? He didn't oh. announce the stream earlier. Oh, well, it did fine. Yeah, it did. I don't think people use Discord to be notified anyways. Finally, I might think they do. Alright, let's see if we have any survivors at all. I bet you have one. Oh, there's a lightning. Uh, there are two houses that is like, fine. Okay, no one took shelter in that one. <laughs> Did they take shelter in this one? Hmm. I think they're all dead. Uh, yup. <laughs> They're dead. It wiped out the entire village. That makes for two villages that has now been wiped out in the series. So yeah, the uh, village just got entirely wiped out. We lost all of our villagers. Um, <laughs> I think a upcoming project is going to be an above ground village that is more built up to code for tornadoes, you know? Because we do need our villagers. They are important. We have an entire sugarcane farm on the surface just for trading. And we need that. So that's going to be an upcoming project. But, but, but you know, we'll, we'll touch on that at the end of the episode. We'll do some cleaning up at that village because it did make a mess. But for now, I want to get started on this tree farm. And it's going to require some dirt and some saplings. And it will require some buckets of water too. Do we have buckets? Surely we have buckets, right? Apparently not. Huh. Okay, well, we're going to have to find some buckets. I don't know where. I'm pretty sure I keep my buckets in around here somewhere. Oh, well. Okay, let's just get get started here. And I'll show you the layout of this farm. So, obviously, dirt is going to run from this side to the other. And we should go, like, two in between. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. I'm trying to... Trying to mathematically figure this out. It's two in between. Oh, it's not two right there, is it? Oh, no, this isn't two. I think we might need an additional space on this back wall here. I don't think we took care of that. Seems slightly uneven. So, yeah, as you can see, this definitely didn't take long to do it all. Hmm, that's our library. Or <laughs> our enchanting area. Huh, okay. So maybe that's not going to happen. Oh, well. So basically, we'll have, we'll have this dirt running across. We'll have to see if it'll grow trees there or not. And this is going to be tall enough that it will ensure that no large trees grow. All right, it's like eight high, I think, from this point up so that's good we don't want we don't want big big tall trees that are difficult to cut down we want to easily cut this down and uh, it's gonna be an oak tree farm uh, if I decide to in the future I might add some other tree varieties but I typically only only use oak as my main building material so that's what we're focused on for now uh, hmm. so we're gonna have to add a wall here Basically walls all around, uh, including here. So, because, you know, we don't want a boring old, just, whoops. <laughs> boring old stone walls. We want we want this to be decorated a little bit. So I have to find a block choice for that. But for now, I'm going to do our next step, which is going to be running water to a single point right here. So I'll add water. i got to go find those buckets. And then uh, I'll show you the uh, what I've done. Okay, so the water is placed. Uh, as you can see, it'll run straight down to a central point right down there. And 
any block that is dropped, like right here, for example, right here, uh, it'll run down. Shouldn't get stuck anywhere. Shouldn't have any problems. Well, except that hole. That'll that'll be a problem. But we can plug that. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's our uh, water stream here. It works as advertised, and I've placed torches to show where the trees are gonna go. And that's basically we'll plant saplings right there. Uh, it lights up the room enough. And now I want to do some decorating for the inside of the room. And we've got a bunch of terracotta. Uh, let's see if I can just dump this crap into here for now. Oh, I didn't need that. Uh, yeah. we got a bunch of terracotta, and that's what I want to use. I want to build, make it look like it's indoors almost. We'll use red dye, or not red dye, we'll use dye. And once it's dyed, we can make it, you know, like a blue sky, green grass kind of deal. Uh, we do have that dye. I don't think we need red for now. Uh, we do need blue. Uh, green, blue. Uh, brown? Do we have brown? That would be cocoa beans. I don't think we have brown. I don't know any other way to get brown. So we'll just do this for now. So basically... Yeah, we'll do a bunch of this. Probably not all of that, but we'll have our half stack here, and we'll do a grass layer right about where we are. So these two will be green grass. Oh, give me that back. And basically, I'll just chop out these two layers here. And this will be our grass. We'll do like brown below this for dirt. And then blue skies for the rest of it. Put some trees in maybe. Do like a landscape looking kind of thing. So I'll go ahead and put our grass in first. So I've only got one wall done so far. And this is just the background colors. Obviously we'll add more detail. The ceiling and all the other walls. I'm running low on dye and clay and all that but this is a uh, just an idea of what it'll be like uh, we'll have like some brown down there for dirt uh, so yeah it's just basically a fake outdoor world since it's a tree farm is what we're going for here I'll go ahead and finish the uh, rest of the walls themselves and show you a finished look and then we can add some detail to it like some fake trees and some fake clouds and uh, build a fake sun <laughs> so yeah that'll be next Okay, so I've got the trim done for the room, and I've also started planting some trees just to make sure they would grow. Uh, I'm worried about this back wall here. I don't think it's going to grow. We'll have to wait and see, but if it doesn't, we'll have to redo some stuff. Uh, that wall's growing, though, so two in between is enough space for sure, and we've even had trees next to each other grow, so that's good. I want to add detail now, right? Because we got our sky, we got our grass. I don't have any brown dye, so that's definitely a problem for me right now. Uh, we'll be sure to find some eventually, but until then, we're kind of stuck in the in the brown category of things, right? So uh, we're just gonna add a couple clouds and. I don't know how how you make clouds, right? Like, does this look like a cloud? What do clouds look like? That doesn't look like a cloud at all. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, hmm. Just maybe uh, some block here. Maybe this looks like a cloud. We'll put some on the ceiling, of course, too. So, like, right here. Maybe up in the corner, too. Like so. Yep. And I guess we're going to need more white. White dye. Ah, crap. That's a, that's a source block there. Let's put that back. We also need a pathway across. I think I'll do that now. Uh, I don't know what pathway block we want to use. I think we want to use slabs, though. Do we have any slabs? Oh, yeah, sure. We'll use stone slabs. This should look fine. Fine and dandy. So we'll add this. Oh, another tree must have grown. 
So that's obviously gonna you're gonna have to deal with that as you go. Um, I guess I can technically just remove that dirt because this is this is not gonna be <laughs> no trees are gonna be planted there. So it's fine to do. Really, I could just do uh, instead of dirt, I could have slabs up into the point, but I kind of want to go for this outdoorsy kind of feel, so I think I'll just do that, yeah. And then I want like a sun in the center point. Uh, I want to grab some glowstone. So the way I want to do this is the sun will be made of glowstone, and then the, we'll have this yellow terracotta shooting at us like the sun rays, you know? Hopefully you get an idea of what I'm trying to put into your... Oh! I guess we're doing this garden real quick. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, my bad. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's turn the light back on. Luckily it was ready to harvest, so... I've hit that switch a couple times, and I just fed a chicken. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just knock this out really quickly. I guess while we're knocking it out, I'll talk about an update for the channel. As you all know, I'm streaming five days a week. Uh, Tornado Survival on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and... Uh, Hardcore Survival Minecraft on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. A link to my Twitch channel down below. Of course, it is on Twitch. You can follow me if you want to be alerted when I go live. Or you can uh, you can uh, join the Discord, which will also have a link down below. And uh, we alert people in there, too. So, several ways to be notified. Also, a new series coming to the channel this week. Uh, I did a multi modded multiplayer with purple and cookie and it went it went interesting <laughs> i got three episodes pre-recorded uh no cuts or anything we just recorded straight through it's uh it's got a lot of challenging mods you know very difficult survival mods I, it was really fun it's an interesting challenge i think you guys are going to enjoy that so look forward to that coming up. And I think that's pretty much all I've got for channel updates. Let's go ahead and grab our wheat. And we'll replant carrots in this corner. Carrots were already plopped up from before and I didn't realize it happened. So I didn't really get to collect these. But that's fine. We get plenty of carrots. I would like to have the potatoes as food again. I would really like to make a gold farm and have any just carrots as golden carrots. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, perfect. We can go back to making our glowstone sun. So let's get this back on our thing here. And, ooh, it's interesting. Uh, we'll just build up, I guess. Perfect. And I don't know where the center point is. Uh, this is the center. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, so 5 and then our center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so our center block is right here, so this will be our sun, so we'll do that, and we'll just have like that, I almost think that's too much, right, yeah, it definitely looks like too much, the sun's not that big, <laughs> so yeah, we'll do like this. This is this is the design I'm basically going for. Almost almost want to do like this. Do like sun rays shooting out maybe. Like so. Oh, that's the same block. I don't know, building on camera is hard to do cuz when it turns out like crap, there's no way to cover up for your mistakes. Oops. I think this is what we're going to stick with here. Or even better, these corner ones will be glowstone. Okay, that'll be our sun. Alright, and bear with me, I know this looks terrible. <laughs> but I'm trying my hardest. Uh, where's our build up here? Perfect. Let's get some more white clay. Or terracotta. I, I completely forget that you're supposed to call this terracotta and not hardened clay should have built this with concrete but I like the I like the uh, I forget the art term for it of what this technically is but I, I like the look of it you know 
So yeah, just some different shaped clouds here. You know, no, no clouds are the same. So I'll just let my pick kind of decide how the clouds will be shaped. We'll make this one a big one. And then just a tiny little one block cloud over there. Uh, mm -hmm, perfect, perfect. So yeah, if you uh, if you squint, you can almost imagine that that's uh looks like the sky. <laughs> so I think that's what we need there. And until I get, to, oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I want to live. I want to live. Okay, that was interesting. Until I can get brown dye right, we're kind of stuck here. And I don't know what to do about this because these aren't going to grow. And if we go back one. You can see we run into that. Could we move that forward one, maybe? Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, if we move that forward, that's just gonna bump into the front of this. So unless we squeeze this forward one more, which it would probably, we could do that. I'll do that off camera. I'll move this forward one and then I'll move this back one so the farm works properly. <laughs> But until I get to brown dye, that is all we can do in regards to this. So let's just go ahead and run through it one time. See how much wood we get. Uh, shouldn't be two tall trees. If they do grow tall, it should only be like by one extra log, which is easy enough to handle, I think. So just, uh, I guess I should have cleared my inventory of all wood, but that's fine. So yeah, three trees per row, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be 21 trees. I can cut down when fully, fully done. And let's just get an average count here. One, two, three, four. So four, four logs per uh, tree. Four times three is 12 logs per row. So 12 times seven is going to be, um, what is that, 60... No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it's going to be, what is it, 80 something? All right, 12 times 10 is 100, 100 minus 36 is going to be 64, that still doesn't seem right. All right, I'll just, I'll just cheat. Okay, Google, what's 12 times 7? The answer is 84. 84, there you go. Alright, so let's just finish the rest of this and we'll see if we get enough saplings. Aw, oh, dang it, I got saplings in my inventory. Surely we will, but something to be, something to check on. I didn't want to leave. Leaf. Go back home, leaf. There you go. Alright, perfect. Oh, another tree grew. I'm going to have that problem. That's why you don't replant until everything is dropped. And we'll have to run along and grab the saplings that drop onto the wood, or to the dirt, obviously, but... Well, why is this doing that? What is happening here? Oh, am I... Did I go over by one block? Is that what broke this? Does that fix it? <laughs> now why doesn't that fix it? Oh, I guess I need water down there. Uh, hmm. Let's just ender pearl over there. Perfect. Give me a bucket. Ender pearl back. <laughs> so what is it? Oh, one right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I had a water bucket on me. Okay, good. There we go. That's how it does it. And we'll do a collection system right down there. Uh, into pearl. <laughs> right, so yeah, everything's working as should. Yeah, so you see this one went a little big. Um, that's fine. It's not too insanely big, so it's not a pain to really chop down. And I'm fine with that. Oh, I just fell down again. <laughs> Got to stop doing that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, look, an endermite spawned. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and implement the the collection system, and I'll get back to you all. 
Alrighty guys, I think I've got the item sorter figured out. And would you look at this? A tree actually grew on this back line. So we might not... I'll, I'll move it anyways, but apparently if there's a one block space, they'll grow. It's just... It's a lot harder for them to, I guess. I don't know what this issue was. But let's see if this actually works. I'm going to test this by throwing 24 terracotta down here. And it should, in theory, work. Oh, that got that, yep, yeah, look, making into the chest. Let's see if 24 terracotta makes it. That'll be the test. We need 24. Come on, baby. Oh, yes! <laughs> that hesitation there was killer. Alright, sweet. And uh, just to show you, basically, you know, your dropper shoots items up through this glass elevator. Uh, an observer in that comparator, so basically, when the comparator detects that there's items in there, the observer notices the change and causes that clock to tick, which will then cause this to shoot up into there. So yeah, it's, it's pretty basic design. Uh, we don't have water elevators yet, so that's what we have to use. But that's it for the tree farm for now. Uh, I might replant it and just, just to have it, you know, just show it off one more time fully, fully operational. We'll go ahead and uh, plant these saplings. And then we'll move on to what the uh, last thing for the episode I have is. Okay, so we all know that this place got demolished by a tornado. And we do have a couple houses that didn't get hit. And I would like to save them. So that's the plan here. So we're going to try and clear out some of this mess. And uh, leave, leave what lived, you know. So that's the plan. Just a little, little clean up, make the place look a little better. Maybe close in that and uh, perhaps repair what is repairable. That house is not repairable by my <laughs> by my standards, in case you're wondering. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we lost all of our villagers, and like we did with the other place, I would like to do like a memoriam kind of play, kind of thing going on here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, this place is definitely a mess, though. Uh, we'll leave the lights in the ground so they survived, because there's no point in dealing with that. You know, no point in taking away light sources. It's interesting that this is sand. Oh, missed one. Is that it? Yeah. Of course, we got more right here, it looks like. Ah, oh, yeah, right here. A lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water. Uh, yeah, so we'll just dig this out here. Look, free wood. We built a tree farm. We get all this wood from having to tear down these guys' farms. What used to be farms, that is. And, you know, the grass will regrow here, and it'll look much better than what it currently does. It'll, uh, nature will take its course and make the place look a lot better once the grass comes back in. For now, it's pretty ugly. It's not just pretty, it's ugly. <laughs> it's more ugly than pretty, so to say. Because like I said, it got hit hard. So yeah, I'll take that out. Oh, we'll have a ghost block we'll have to go back and get at some point. I'm not dealing with it now. Uh, and then we'll just take out the cobble. Right, right. Good, good. And I'll just uh, go ahead and wipe out the rest off camera and show you a finished product. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the uh, final product here. And yeah, just like that. And then we'll just move this torch to the corner. And of course, put them all in all the corners. Like so. And there you go. That's that's basically that. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a torch on the top. And since this is the house that we uh, repaired, we'll just put in memoriam to the villagers who lie here. What's today's date? Uh, this will go up on Wednesday, so we'll just put April 1st. 2020. Perfect. Can we put a dot right there? Yeah. There we go. So, I repaired it. Uh, there's still debris lying around. I'll clean them up later, but uh, the whole place is leveled out now. Um, 
I guess let's just grab our stuff and get out of here. I don't have any grass or anything. Like I said, I'll clean the rest of that up later. So yeah, let's just grab our stuff and let's end off the episode. Alright, that's uh, that's going to do it. Um, one thing I want to mention, <laughs> just real quick. I want you all to know this is absolutely not a finished product, right? Uh, I still need brown brown clay, so we'll add like fake trees along here. Maybe even like a house or something. Um, yeah, this is not a finished product, so don't think it is. This is just to give you an uh, give you an idea of this like pastel clay look I'm going for. But yeah, I understand it looks ugly right now. But it's oh whoops, can I get back up? Thank you. It's not a finished product, so expect better. Expect better for sure. That is gonna do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, or like if you did. Uh, comment any suggestions, uh, comments of course, <laughs> that's what the comments are for, and subscribe for more, but uh, that's gonna do it, oh man I broke another leaf, there we go, just put it up top, that's gonna do it, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later, bye!